Hey, welcome to Filipino Toy Collectors Worldwide. My name is Andy, and today we're going to be talking about Giant Gorg. So, Giant Gorg is made around the early 80s and made by Takara. And of course, this robot is not very popular. I only know a little bit about this. Um, I will show you some videos though. So, uh, my understanding here is that he's a robot that protects an eye. What I have here is the giant cord that uh, is is not is not expensive because this robot is not very popular, and I do have the jumbo, which is I don't have much space. That's why I have them like that. But I will I will be showing you guys later on. But for now, um, I just want to open this up first. Uh, this is uh, <coughs> this one I got like I think around the late 90s. And I got this from eBay, and it was like it was really, really cheap. I think even now, if you if you try to find this on eBay, you can still find it like less than a hundred. It's it's not it's not expensive. So this one, okay, let's open it up. So of course, I'm gonna be using my um, letter opener that says Philippines, which I'll, I've been uh, using for uh, quite some time now. Hmm, this one is still still tight. Sometimes you know, like when you're opening like this, and and you're you're kind of worried too, like you might um, cut the sides. You know, like uh, all the corners of the flaps, they they do have like some sort of cut there. So if you're not very careful when you're using the letter opener or a cutter, this can start a small tear that until it goes bigger and bigger. So you have to be careful with that. Anyways, so. Yeah, some people were asking me, oh, is this like a model kit? Uh, I got this like this, so I don't think so. Because I, I bought it like this already. It's not like I assembled it or anything. You, you know what? This is a Chaboken. I thought it was all plastic, but it does have some metal parts. Yeah, so it, it does have some die cast parts. The legs are die cast, actually. It's, you can see it well there. Um, what else, I think? So as you can see, this one is um, this one is pretty mint. You see the character. That character there is the kid that goes here. I'll be showing you later how that looks. And of course, there's the fist. There's extra fist there, and then of course the open hands, open hands, and then it does have its own stand. This is die cast. This is die cast. Oh, this is for his back. You, you put it there. So this is I did not apply this. Oh wait, this is for the stand. So I put this here. So you know what? Let's let's make him stand. You know. So you know what? He's not that bad. When I first saw him, it's like oh my god, he's just so plain and like this and. I can't even remember why I got him first, but you know, I, I'm glad that I did because before it's like I'm not really interested in this kind of toys, but now that I'm looking at it, you know what? It's not so bad actually. It, and then it, see, it's this one is made 1983. Actually, it's 1983, uh, but the show was more popular during 1984. So this one goes here. That's the right way of doing it. Yep. And then it says at the back. Now if you can see it well. I don't have a monitor actually. I just have I, I I'm just shooting with a cell phone and and it's just focused straight to, to me without me seeing if I'm uh, at the edge of the framing, you know, the frame, or if I'm you know cut off. <laughs> Hopefully not, because uh, been, we've been uh, shooting for like a few minutes already. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he has this gun. This, as I showed you a while ago, um, it's extra fist. There's this small kid there, if you look at it well. And then, of course, the stickers. So, I will put back his gun and I will show you his articulation. So, for his arms, let, let me take this out so that uh, we have more control. Ooh, what's going on here? Is it stuck or what? Okay, so I'll put this back. Okay, so 
Let, let's start with his uh, upper body. I, um, it does turn. It does have, of course, it does have its uh, limits. Um, I guess that's the uh, farthest you can go. And that's for the, um, the upper body motion. And for the arms, you can ask, there is movement you can do here and there's this one here where you can bring down and I'm scared <laughs> I don't want it to crack these are like those blue plastics oh, but I think this one is probably not the same as the uh, the poppy ones where it, they, they crack easily those are the dark blue uh, plastic that gets really brittle so this one you can move the uh, The lower arm, the forearm, it does move. The, the hands can turn and then the shoulders can go, uh, can move as well. And then the chest, you can open it. Oh, I never opened this before. What's inside? There's something metallic inside. I'm not really sure what it is. I guess it's supposed to be some, some sort of like, um, I don't know. It does have weight because his legs are die cast, right? So there you go. So I'm gonna put him back so that we can go on and, and check this guy out. So this is the Gorg Chugokin. I'll say Chugokin because he is a Chugokin. He does have like die cast parts. So I'll put him back. So this is Gorg still mint in box the box used to this one used to be like 100% like perfect but now you know I don't, I don't have a plastic cover for this my, my daughter's about to wrap this actually but uh, it is if, if you look at it it's still like kind of new you know like you might you might think that oh this probably came out like 2000 but it's actually 1983 so it says in the date behind the toy it says 1983 and yeah I think it's 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 a cheap toy actually it is you can buy this like under 100 I think even now or even cheaper I, I'm not really sure but when I got this it was just like 50 bucks or something like that well the shipping but still so you, you know what I mean right so sometimes this is the uh, problems I have when you know like when you put when you put everything back and they're not like perfectly you know like there's like bumps there that causes it to like hit the uh, the end of the flap on the other side and what happens is like so maybe you have if that happens you have to turn it the other way around because it's probably hitting um, see it, it went inside so if that happens you try to put the stuff inside but something is blocking it it's probably because of your cover. You try to like flip it the other way and try it again and now it works. So okay, so this is the uh, Giant Gorg um, hmm, one of 100 scale. Yeah, so that's the kid there. That kid goes on his head. I'll show you just like videos, right? Anyways, uh, we're going the next one. We're gonna be Giant Gorg um, Jumbo Machinger. So I'm pretty sure that I'm not probably fitting the camera, so I'm gonna go go this far. Oh, by the way, there's a friend of mine who told me that he's seeing something here from all my videos. So I said like, what is that thing? What is that thing that's like popping up, popping out from the corner? So I said, okay, I'll show you guys in a bit. But yeah, uh, so this is gi uh, Giant Gorg. Uh, as you can see, he's very plain. I do have him with my jumbo, other jumbo machinders, so his height is actually same as theirs. So it's not like um, it's not like a Mekanda or Mekanda Bullmark is much much bigger. These are exactly like the same as a Mazinger Z, and you know like those usual uh, Shogun Warriors or common poppy ones, right? So the differences are. I mean, this is more like, it's very simple. There's not no, um, 
not much happening here except for the ones in this head and this head is is a different type of plastic it's not the same as this I think for, it looks a little bit different to me at least so um, I think there should be like a light here or something I got this loose unfortunately so um, this is all I have uh, it does say say Takara Takara at the back I don't know if, it, if I'm focusing it well Takara and then um, I guess Giant Gorg and then it does have some of its stickers intact still but one more difference between this one and the, the poppy ones or the jumbo machine or whatever Nakajima they this one doesn't have wheels it doesn't come with it or if there is an attachment I don't know of but uh, I'm, I'm just talking to what I uh, I'm just like showing you guys what I have uh, it might be incomplete or or what I did saw one before with the box back home but uh, uh, a friend of mine got, got it actually and uh, I was like five minutes late it was a pretty good deal actually um, when he got that with the box it's almost the same price as when I bought it loose so this is this is not really that expensive too I think you can still get this but it's kind of rare now I before I used to see this a lot on eBay eBay or um, Yahoo, uh, Yahoo Japan uh, but now for some reason I don't, I don't really see him that much I guess maybe there's only a few of them people throw them or, or or maybe just people don't just ignore them so maybe nobody buys but I will buy like stuff like this because this is like something you know it's still good to add uh, jumbos like this to your collection so so guys I'll be I'll do a quick uh, turnaround of this character for you so that you guys can see so this is the front view quarter front profile three quarter back back view three quarter back facing your screen left and then profile and then back to front view so he's a cool toy for me at least I mean for us like I said before you know when you're collecting you don't have to have all the best I mean just just buy where what you can afford you know you just don't leave be don't you know spend beyond your means I mean it's always best to have uh, some extra money for the rainy days so now I just remembered that <laughs> my friend who asked about what that thing in the corner is I'm not sure if it's if you guys are seeing it it's, it's depending on what, how I position the camera but I will show you this is what it is if you watch my older videos you will see it it is it is a Thomas it's my actually son's Thomas uh, so if you're new to my channel please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll get updated with my latest videos and of course if you want to like um, check out uh, my, my friends my friends uh, YouTube accounts I will I will add them in the um, in the description so that uh, you can check them out I have some friends who um, post mostly Sentai's and I have friends where they post like the, the newer toys the new release toys and and some of them like uh, post like more like uh, American toys and you know like what is hot right now if you're new to this channel make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get updated with my latest videos and also make sure to check out my friends uh, YouTube account uh, YouTube channel giant Gorg is our toy for today so thank you so much peace out